How's it going guys? In today's lesson we're going to be going over how we can create a speed test or an internet speed test in Python and we're going to be using a library called speed test client and it's actually very simple to create this project. There's just a bit of errors we need to worry about that I want to cover in this video. But as you can see down here it would get the download speed, it will get the upload speed and it's going to tell you right here what they are. So for my example, it's going to be 54.44 megabytes per second and the upload is 61. So it's a very simple project that can help you with debugging and making some more complex projects, but I thought it was quite fun. So let's get started immediately by creating a new empty project. So I'm going to be using Python 3.7 for this because apparently this API only works until 3.7. And I'm not really sure about the ones above. I'm just following the documentation and they said the latest update was on 3.7. So you're more than welcome to try it out on later versions, but I'm going to be using 3.7 for this example. So the first thing we'll do is type in import math and import speed test, which does not exist yet because we have to go to our terminal and to go ahead and type in pip install speed test dash client. So CLI and tap on enter and it's going to install it incredibly fast. Now the first thing we have to do inside here is type in Wi-Fi, which is going to equal speed test dot speed test. And we need to instantiate this object so we can use it. And to get started, we'll type in print getting download speed. And the download speed is going to equal the Wi-Fi dot download. And very similarly, we can do the exact same thing for the upload speed. So getting upload speed, we type in Wi-Fi dot upload. And here we just change it to upload speed. Then we can go ahead and print these. So go ahead and print download comma. And you just insert the download speed. And the same thing's going to happen for the upload, upload speed. Now we can go ahead and try to run the program. And it's going to be getting the download speed first, and then it's going to work hard to get the upload speed. And of course, this is going to take a moment or two because it actually has to perform the test before it can actually show you a result. So now it's getting the upload speed. And finally, it's going to show us the result of both. So the download will be this huge number and the upload will be this huge number over here. And the reason we have these huge numbers is because it returns a result in bytes. So as a bonus, we're going to go ahead and create a function that's called bytes to megabytes. And inside here, we need to type in the size of bytes. And first we're going to start with i, which is the inth of math.floor, which takes math.log the size bytes, and we need to put 1024. Then we can go ahead and create the power, which will be math.pow for power. And it's going to be 1024 to the power of i. And the size is going to be equal to round size of the bytes divided by the power. And we want to leave it to the second decimal. So two decimal points. Then we can go ahead and return a formatted string of the size in megabytes per second. So now all we have to do is insert the bytes inside here. So down here, just type in size uh, bytes to megabytes and insert the download speed and do the same thing for the upload speed. And then you can rerun the program and you'll notice that we will get the result back in megabytes. So now, as you noticed, we got the download in 60 and we got the upload in 63. Also, there's a chance that some of you might be receiving an error that the SSL certificate had a verification error. And I ran into that myself. So what you're going to have to do in case you get that error is go to terminal, type in pip install certify, and it's going to do that. And then you have to go ahead and use this command, which is slash application slash Python backslash and then as you can see, it has 3.6, but since I'm using 3.7, I have to go ahead and change that to 3.7. And you also have to change this depending on what your Python version is, but the rest can remain the same. It's going to do install and it's going to install the certificates. So with that, you can install it and it's going to add it to your program. And it's actually very important that you follow this structure over here. I mean, there's a small space between three and the dash, 
and it's really important you follow this exactly. And just to make it simple, I'm going to leave this command in the description box down below, so you can just copy and paste that in there. But once you've done that, you should have no more errors with the certificate, and you'll be able to use your internet connection. So there we go again, I'm getting the download speed, and very soon it's going to work for the upload speed. And that's actually all it takes to create an internet speed test in Python. But anyways, guys, that's actually all I wanted to show you in today's video. So with that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.